casually and just the key players, they stick together, man. Ooh, Riddle's There's just off the bat. He's sprinting full tilt, Yo. not giving Odin a split second to mine up resources or set up a wall. He's just already in his face. <laughs> it's like, man, I remember our last set. Okay, we're just not going to let you do that, all right? Cool. But right away, the retaliation coming in from Odin, setting up as he does. 67 catches that right back. The lead is his, and he's going to go back to carding. And there is the craft coming into the cart. Here we go. Are we going to have something else? I like that setup with the down air, just making that wall for Riddles to not kind of get over. Beautiful, though. Riddles in that shield catches that. Wait to the option of the up close and personal conflict and right away responds and getting that first stock last. Yeah, I feel like something that you said, like not letting Onan have time to do anything. Sometimes it feels like you don't have the, the opportunity. You don't have the choice. You don't get to choose if he's setting up minecart, if he's setting up a wall. But Riddles, he plays so fast. His movement is so so clean and it's so so fluid that Onan actually can't catch on to it at least not yet not yet and you know like I have many Steve's that I've been talking to I, I live with one one of them is my sibling and they say that once you're in on Steve it's hard man you know if they got nothing that they've crafted or been able to really do they look like they got some safe options but when you're comparing yourself to oh no grabbing the Wait, ledge he's alive he makes is, it back. He somehow makes it and almost even takes the stock here against Odin. And does get the leg trump into the back air. Riddle's here to show on a show and get into winner's top eight. He wants it, man. Are we sure this is the same Onin from the last set? He, he looks scared. He's yeah. not in control. He's not dominating neutral. Instead, he's on the back foot. He's running low on resources. Look at his bar. No iron, nothing to do except run away. Yeah, unfortunately, he just has not had the chance to really craft. And finally, thanks to that beautiful KO from the back, he's going to get some time to make a little bit of resources and cards. He does have diamond on lock, but he does need uh, really gold at this moment. Gold is really going to help him out get through that frame, got to get what he needs. But this is going to be some good damage. 40% doesn't get the follow-up. Great. Ooh, okay, that's the fair. He has no jump. I saw it. And that's going to be the fair. There you go, last. You know, you called him. You say he said good morning. I'm back. Sorry I disappointed, but we're good now. Great S. DI, NDI coming in from Onan to get out of that position because that was going to be a stock for sure. Riddles gets the jab, jab, power dunk though, and that forces Onan into the corner once more. He whiffs on the, uh, the burning knuckle, and he's going to take a whole 60% just for that one mistake. Onan making sure that his tools are nice and fresh as well so that he can... Oh my god, that would have been a great right. call out if it worked. Fortunately, I don't think a foot is going to beat a minecart. It's at that time. It it's is. very it, inconsistent. Is that really it? Okay. okay. I was, I was going to say, I think Terry's a little bit heavier than the TMT setup. Okay, we got it. Oh, my wait, God. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, I've never seen that kill in my life. I was like, good Lord. Okay, he's in the oh, car, and that's the up smash. He's going to take that game. What a comeback, last. You know, you were talking about how, hey, man, is this the same guy? Maybe he just, like, needs a little nap. But, yo, he woke up there. He just kind of lost that stock. I said, oh, right, we're playing. Okay, just give me a minute. I feel like when Riddles blasted off, he's going to blast some from the back. It gave him time to get those resources, and that's when finally Oni was able to play the game. Yeah, once the resource bar was refreshed, Riddles suddenly had a much, much harder time of it and got caught rolling by the minecart, trapped. It was all over for Oni in there. Yeah, just breathed the sigh of relief. Going into game number two, though, if Riddles can regain that early game plan that he had against Onan, he's in great shape, but it seems like oh, that's no. going to be a little bit more difficult to do with Onan doing stuff like this. There for sure, and he's actually lucky that that follow-up did get a little bit screwed up. He didn't finish what he was supposed to do. It was supposed to be way more damage than what you saw there. So the 69 to 45, not bad at all. And not going to be a tech coming in from Onan, and probably for the best, honestly, because Riddles carried out his combo right after. And here we go, a little bit more pressure coming in. Now, we, this is a a little bit of a different story last because he has resources now and he also has a gold in his pocket ready to be crafted and there it is first off we got a little bit of some steel coming in gonna do a little bit more damage he's already got a diamond locked and loaded that's what happens when you're on ps2 man you have way more chances of crafting better materials oh riddles looks for the call out on the jump out of the minecart with the power dunk doesn't find it and Onan just creating so much space with these blocks and actually ends up getting caught by the back hitbox of it and goes down. Yeah, I feel like the over like the extended hitbox from him crafting also probably got him hit there. So he's definitely gonna take that. He's also got go as well, so hopefully he can get as much damage as he can. Is that gonna be he's killed? Alive. No, he's he alive. is definitely good using his block and jump as well as the recovery pilots to get back onto the stage. Here we go. Oh, oh my god! god! He actually caught it! He's the first person 
on planet Earth to punish a Steve flanking off stage. Amazing. Yo, yo the toe. Yo, that's a T, guys. Cut your toenails. That was good. And now we're back. We have a two stock to one piece. This is not unfamiliar territory, though, last. This could really turn around, but it's a lot harder to do against Terry. Yeah, Here's going to be the damage. Oh, my well. goodness gracious. That was really great damage and great creativity coming in from. <laughs> oh, my God. Riddles, again, I just keep getting jump scared by these setups. I'm sorry for streaming, but I As just can't help it. You sound like a beautiful girl. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kel. <laughs> no, it, it, it's great because that's the fear Riddles puts into you. He turns you into a little sixth grader girl that just makes you want to cry. Onan staying calm, though, bringing this back 120 to 66. It's not over. He's got no diamond, but he does he have just material. He yeah, has the it's going to break, but I'm in the pocket. But that he's not even going to get a chance to even use it as Riddles is going to take that second game, almost taken away from him once again. But was calm, cool, collected, waited for the commitment options that Steve does possess and used it against him. Finally, finally, Onan drops a game in this it's top 32. True. Oh my god, that's so Three weird to Leo, say. Three <laughs> stocked Leo, but Riddles, he's putting on a fight for all of those non-believers out there who think that Steve is just going to take over. He's unbeatable, he's unstoppable. He is trying to put a stop to it here and now as we head to Battlefield for our next game. I feel like that's Riddle's job though, man. Like even when Sonic's 3 would everyone at CEO, Riddle's was the one that took the games, you know? He's just like, hey man, this is not a flawless tournament, let me prove to you, you can't just free up everyone. So Riddle's always showing to be a king of his own. And as he's gonna go ahead and stop Onan right away from Cardin out, and there we go, he's got it here. And he's gonna run over, not letting him craft any materials and continue his reign of terror as he continues to ledge guard, finally gets a little hit on that card and the gold is, uh, that's not gold, I apologize, but it is a setup here. A lot of people say, hey, you should nerf, you know, you should nerf diamond, you should nerf gold, but a lot of Steve players says if Steve should be nerfed, it should be from the wood. The wood is what sets up the combos, it's what sets up all that damage, and that's what people don't understand, and that's why Riddles now took 89% after that down air. Yeah, loses out to the anvil, and that's gonna allow Onan to craft up the stone tools. He's setting up underneath the platform. Oh, and he gets the spot dodge timing wrong, so he gets blown up by it. Second burst, same as the first. Onan trying again and catches the crack shoot on with the back air. First stock goes to him. That was a fantastic way of just Ooh. understanding, hey, you know, Riddles is jump air dodge back a lot, so I'm gonna take like that down and use it against them, but it's the same thing coming in for Riddles, understanding, hey, I know what you just did, so really is. Yo, Riddles is SDI, by the way, this set, way better than Gommel. The way he's getting out of these up tilt combos, much better, and that's why in these moments you do need wood to be your, your material to really put on these damage because that's what you're gonna need. Amazing DI though coming in from Onan. Both of these guys showing such experience when it comes down to the very technical aspects of each matchup. Yeah, the matchups are being played phenomenally by both players. Onan though with Diamond going to do uh, more ridiculous amounts of damage. Tries for the shield break setup. TNT is a little bit too far away, so Riddle standing directly at the ledge is going to be immune to it. But he's not immune to a Diamond fair as Onan once again regains the stock lead. Maybe not for long though. Riddles is out for blood. That was really dangerous where Onan put himself. He deserved to get that damage because, man, Wait. he was in the corner. This is going to be damage. Yep, 58%. You got that diamond, man. And you went right into it. And that was a perfect spaced up smash. Wow! People talk about pivots, man. That is definitely one of it that you need to follow right there. That was a beautifully timed up smash coming in from Riddles as he takes this next stock. We know for a fact this can go any way last. Gets the F tilt crack shoot, puts Onan off stage, tries to punish the jump out of the minecart, but Onan's timing on it has been so varied throughout the entire set. Riddles has had such a hard time catching on to it. Tries for the explosion on the TNT with the down smash, but still nothing. Onan he gets diamond out as or <laughs> sorry, gold out as well. Oh my god, this is scary, dude. Go is terrifying. Okay, Might this is gonna kill, it. man. Here we go, we got the ledge. Oh, oh no! Oh no! The intentional, you know, ledge trump into the back air. Onan got hit by that first game. He collected that data, said, I'm gonna buffer the jump, wait for that back air, and co completely use it up against him. That was so well planned. Take a look at this here in that slow-mo. Look at this. Right away jumped out, realized he actually missed that back air. He held in Onan, and that's why that didn't actually clash. And he's gonna take that back air. Unfortunate going in for Riddles, but now he's more aware that, hey, Onan is holding in. 
So maybe he can use that against him in this game. I mean, even the, the even crazier part about that is that only hit because of the uh, the crafting table yes. extension. Yes. It would not have hit otherwise. And exactly. That's a little bit unfortunate for Riddles. Very fortunate for Onan as he's up two to one on the verge of entering top eight winner's side of the biggest ultimate tournament we've seen since quarantine. That's it. Before that, man, I mean, when this game came out and everyone was just excited, right, and we were all new players, that's the last time we had this kind of tournament. And now that the game has developed, this is truly the biggest event that we've seen in our life, man, with our current meta. So it's great to see both of these players duking it out. Riddles, though, not going to make it easy. Takes the lead of 120 in an edge guard position. Let's see how he actually does respond. Doesn't get the grab. right block. There we go. And gets the up smash. I love it on the edge. Sets it. Gets the two blocks and it's gonna try and bait Riddles to just get over this. I love his position, just making sure that, hey, I really need these materials, but, you know, Riddles is getting in, so I'm gonna try something else. Here it is. Oh, not gonna get that great SDI. Yeah, that setup is ridiculous. Riddles has no options to get past it without risking a lot of damage on him, and so it just lets Onan get up so much, but he is going to lose out to the jab jab up B. Gets diamond tools though, so I'd say it's not too bad of a trade for him. For sure. Okay, we got the TNT. I love it though, like he keeps jump back air dodge, and I'm scared Onan's gonna call it out, man. I, I, I hope that I don't eat my words, but that, 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 that's, gonna be, uh, that's gonna be a tough one when he starts to figure that out. Onan has not found a reply to that yet. And now we're back here on this edge guard position. The Riddle's looking so clean at the moment. Gets himself almost a hit, but yo, he says back off. Onan, I, I, need, I need to just do something real quick, all right? What a weird trade there, too, that goes in Onan's favor. He's allowed to set up, and he's allowed to find the anvil 101% on him, though. He's not too much longer for this world if Riddle's get to uh. hit, but that's the, the critical part of it, Tells, is that he has to get a hit. And Steve, he's oh, scary. No, he's not. very scary. He's but, very, very oh, scary. Almost the potential zero to death. You know, we tried using that diamond, but right away, Onan said, yo, you think your go could be my diamond? Yeah, right. Let me show you why you paid for me. Okay, hold on. Here we go. We got another setup here. We got the block, and we're going to almost see the flip kick. Great down there setup. Oh. That is going to be it. I saw it coming from a mile away last. I saw the way Riddles kept trying to roll into that cart. I said that down there is going to go ahead and hit him or break the shield. We got the goal that is out of the way that's going to help him quite a bit, but we still have some diamond tools that are on deck here, and it's going to be used as a bait, but not for Riddles. He's going to expose that and take it to the last stock potentially for this game. 59.6%. It's nothing that Terry can't make up in just a couple combos. There it is. But he's got to be absolutely flawless for the rest of this game. One connection from Onan could end it all. Could end Riddles' run in winner's side. 59-75. That's the difference. He looks for the side beat, but he misses out, and now he's stuck on ledge. The, cr the, the cloud crowd is living up for Riddles at the moment. They want to see the man bring it. We have oh. TNT, but we also have Go. Oh, no! The back air is going to take it. Onan gonna take it over Riddles again in winners here top 32 qualifying for top eight congratulations because that was not easy Riddles did a fantastic job adapting and really changing it up but you know what Onan just played smart he played extremely smart with those tools, really understanding what he needed to do to keep Terry out and how to bait punish accordingly. Especially towards the end there in those last few interactions, Onan forced Riddles to make multiple decisions in a row. We're gonna see it in the, uh, this is stock one, but we'll see it in the replay in a second where he was like, all right, do you roll, do you jump, do you roll, do you jump, do you roll, do you jump, over and over and over again in that scramble and eventually, if you force them to guess that many times, they're gonna guess wrong once. Yep. And when you guess wrong once, you die. You lose the set, it's all over. That's it. it. It's really, it's a hard character to understand, but I feel like, you know, the more time we're going to have with Steve, especially with great players like Onan, you're gonna be able to learn a lot and we, you will figure it out. And I feel like, you know, the, the distraught on Riddles' face was there. Um, but he can't give up. He's still in this bracket. He can get his run back. So. He can get